This is one of seven videos presenting the units of learning outcomes developed within Pirate Project. Please also watch the introduction video about Earth Building and our project. The Equit Earth Building is a matrix of nine units of learning outcomes designed to create new teaching contents and certifications. Subunit B, Rammed Earth, is the unit of the Equit Earth Building that covers the skills for building with rammed earth. Once the formwork is set up and properly fixed, the earth is poured or placed in it. There are several ways to do this, for example, with buckets, with a loader, with a loader equipped with mixing blades and discharge spout, with a hopper. Loose humid earth is distributed in a layer even thickness of approximately 15 cm. At corners and ends, chamfers create a shape less fragile to knocks and abrasion. Corners may also be made of a more resistant mortar. The ramming is done by hand or mechanically. The size of the ramming surface never exceeds a few square centimeters. The rammer starts working along the sides of the form and then moves to the middle. Sound or touch indicates to an experienced rammer when the layer has gained maximum density. Individual equipment to protect feet, hands, and ears and head is mandatory. Formwork is either removed or added to, as soon as it has been filled. This is called a lift. Decorative elements may be included in the layers. A colored mortar or earth with different green size is put in the formwork. Straight after removal of formwork panels, remedial work may be done to repair small zones. For example, where earth has struck to the form. At this stage, the surface is still humid enough to be worked with simple tools. Blockouts, shade pieces or pipes can be used inside of the formwork, either for decoration or inserting services. Heating pipes can be included during ramming. Prefabricated rammed earth elements may be a solution for sites with constraints like schedule or weather conditions. Built elements have to be protected from rain, frost, shocks, dirt during the rest of the building period. There are several options for connections to other walls, openings and lintels. The earth builder has to build the details according to the design or specification. Throughout the ramming process, the mix has to be regularly controlled for humidity and homogeneity. A too dry or too wet mix in one layer may result in poor finish or even collapse of the wall after removal of the formwork.